How to fix Samsung Galaxy S7 boot loop. Connect the phone to the computer or charger. This is hitting two birds with one stone. You would know immediately how the device reacts the moment it detects current is flowing through its circuits and whether or not it boots up normally once there's a more stable power source. Normally, the S7 Edge will display the charging icon on the screen and lights up the LED indicator at the top of the screen when it charges. That is if the hardware has no issue whatsoever. So, if this is what's happening with your phone when you connect it to your computer or charger, then everything might just be fine with it. Allow it to charge for 10 minutes and then attempt to turn it on and see if boots up successfully. This is an important step because there are times when you need to bump up the battery of your device so it could continue giving out power, although this is more effective in cases wherein the phone refuses to turn on. But in this case, we are simply trying to find out if the potential firmware issue can be fixed by this simple procedure. Firmware issues may also result to boot loops in fact. During updates there is always a possibility that the device boots up longer than usual or won't boot up normally at all. Bumping the battery may fix the problem, too or connecting the phone to the computer may bridge the device to yet another device that wants to access it, just getting it out of being frozen. Things like these happen all the time and I've encountered some of them personally and what we're trying to do here is exhausting all possible situations. The telltale signs that the phone is fine is when it charges normally when connected to a charger or computer and that the charging icons or signs are showing. If the computer detects and recognizes it normally, that is also another sign your device is doing good. Step 2. Try booting the device in safe mode. Aside from the fact that we all know about the safe mode, it is actually the diagnostic state for the device. Meaning, only pre-installed apps and default services are running during boot up, so if the problem, being stuck in boot loop or recovery state, is caused by a third party app, the phone may probably boot up in safe mode successfully. So, here's how you boot your device in safe mode. Press and hold the power key. As soon as you can see the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge on the screen, release the power key and immediately hold the volume down key. Continue holding the volume down button until the device finishes rebooting. You may release it when you can see safe mode in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your phone boots up in safe mode, then it's clear that some third parties are causing the problem. The next task would be to find the culprit and either disable or uninstall them. That's the good thing about them because they are dispensable, you can get rid of them without fearing for some adverse effects on your phone except, of course, for some data losers. I understand some people may think booting in safe mode is futile because it is not a fix in the first place. You restart your phone in this state to isolate the problem so it's safe to say that you're still in discovery state and don't even think that finding the culprit is easy because it's not. You need to go through each of the app and then do some trials and errors before you can discover which one is causing, that is if you're lucky. If you find it very difficult to determine which app is causing the problem, one easy solution is to do the reset. However, you will have to go through all the hassles of backing up your data. Step 3. Delete the system cache or wipe the cache partition. You do this if you haven't done the reset already. Deleting the system cache will force your device to create new ones and those new sets of files may just work properly with the system. The thing is system caches can easily get corrupted during updates and frequently turning on and off of the phone may also lead to the same problem. So, after doing the first two steps and the problem persists, then this is the next thing you should do. Turn off the phone. Press and then hold the home and volume up keys. Then press and hold the power key. When the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge shows on the screen, release the power key but continue holding the home and volume up keys. When the Android logo shows, you may release both keys and leave the phone be for about 30 to 60 seconds. Using the volume down key, 
navigate through the options and highlight white cache partition. Once highlighted, you may press the power key to select it. Now highlight the option yes using the volume down key and press the power button to select it. Wait until your phone is finished wiping the cache partition. Once completed, highlight reboot system now and press the power key. The phone will now reboot longer than usual. Step 4. It's time you did the master reset. The master reset is necessary if the wiping of the cache partition didn't yield any results. As I said in the second step, a reset might be necessary if you can't find the app that's causing the problem. However, if the problem still occurs in safe mode, that's another sign that you really need to do this because apparently it's a firmware issue. Here's how you do it. Turn off your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Press and then hold the home and volume up keys, then press and hold the power key. Note, it doesn't matter how long you press and hold the home and volume up keys, it won't affect the phone but by the time you press and hold the power key, that's when the phone starts to respond. When the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge shows on the screen, release the power key but continue holding the home and volume up keys. When the Android logo shows, you may release both keys and leave the phone be for about 30 to 60 seconds. Note, the installing system update message may show on the screen for several seconds before displaying the Android system recovery menu. This is just the first phase of the entire process. Using the volume down key, navigate through the options and highlight wipe data forward slash factory reset. Once highlighted, you may press the power key to select it. Now highlight the option yes, delete all user data using the volume down key and press the power button to select it. Wait until your phone is finished doing the master reset. Once completed, highlight reboot system now and press the power key. The phone will now reboot longer than usual. The reason why this procedure always comes last is because of the hassle you may encounter backing up your data and files. Samsung, of course, has a switch you can use to make things a bit easier smart switch. I hope things will work out fine after this. Let us know if this helped.